200 million blocks. That's the same distance as flying around the Earth five times. Or the distance I'm going to have to travel to see every corner of the world border. How am I going to do it? Well, that all starts with this horse. Because when I run in Minecraft, I get tired, but horses don't. Which means they're extremely useful for traveling long distances. But because 200 million blocks is an extremely long distance, we need to make sure we find the fastest horse possible. And that's where this comes in. The horse speed measure. Measuring Machine 5000. Let me show you how it works. This will be your horse number one. Come on. Yes. So now we just run in a straight line along here and it will tell us the horse's exact speed. Nine blocks per second, which is actually quite bad. So now the search is on for the faster horses. So let's try horse number two. Yes. Uh-oh, this guy doesn't feel very fast. All right, what's he going to get? Oh my God, seven blocks per second. Horse number three. Ooh, horse number five already feels quite fast, but let's see just how fast he is. 10 blocks per second, you can stay in the pen. But we're gonna need a lot faster than 10 blocks per second because I made a bet with my brother gamers. So wait a second, you think it's impossible for me to see all four corners in seven days? Uh, yeah, obviously. So if he wins the bet, he gets to upload a video on my second channel shouting him out. But if I win the bet, he has to admit in this video that I'm the better Minecraft player. I really want to win this bet, but seven days to see every corner is going to be very hard. So bring on horse number six. Wait, this one's actually quite fast. All right, can this guy beat 10 blocks per second? Here we go. Yes, 11. All right, lucky horse number seven. Something about this guy feels a bit different. All right, that deserves something special. Horse number nine. Ooh, yes. Oh my God, 12 blocks per second. That is very good. If we can get another one of these, we can breed two of them together and hopefully maybe get a 13 block per second horse. Number 13. Horse number 16. All right, this guy is horse number 25, I think. And I have a pretty good feeling about this one. Look how fast he is. He's just moving around all over the place. But it's kind of hard to tame. Come on. Yes. Oh, my God. This guy feels fast. Here we go. Oh, let's go. A 13 block per second horse. That means if we can get another one of these, we might even be able to get a 14 block per second horse. Um. Do you mind? So as the hours tick down on our bet, that's what I did for the rest of the evening. Going through horse after horse and testing their speed. Until this happened. All four of these horses scored 13 blocks per second. They are literally the fastest horses I have ever seen. But let's see if we can make them even faster. And to do this, we're going to breed them. Hey, yeah. Ooh, it feels fast. But just how fast? 13 blocks per second. Try number two. Only 12 blocks per second. How fast is this little guy? 13 blocks per second. Not gonna lie, I'm not even sure a 14 block per second horse is even possible. Ooh, this guy feels fast. Oh my god! Yes! 14 blocks per second. How is that even possible? Oh ho ho! Let's go. This guy is insane. Wait a second. If 14 was possible, does that mean over 14 is? Because literally one block per second faster could save us tens of hours. All right. So if we use this guy and breed him with a 13 block per second horse, maybe we can get another 14. Could this be the one? Only 13. Come on, all of these guys are 14 block per second horses. Surely we can get one that's above it. Come on. Oh, so close. Nearly there. Oh, is this even possible? Oh my god, really? Did that actually just happen? Did it actually happen? Oh my god, let's go. We have an over 14 block per second horse. That is absolutely insane. But before we use this horse to get to our first corner of the map, I think we should make banners to place in each corner to show that I've explored the entire world. So for this, we're going to need a loom and then we're going to need some black dye. <laughs> I'm in danger. 
That's a funny looking squid. Did you sell anything useful? Yeah, he didn't. There's the black dye. We need some wool. Craft up some banners. Right now, how do we make a lockdown life themed thing? All right, I think I've got an idea. So we choose this one make it black then we do this one with white then with black we do this and then with white we do this that's kind of scary actually oh my god um can we make the mouth a bit smaller somehow oh there we go it's kind of yeah that's my face so let's get three more of these one for each corner Nice. All right, now the fastest way to travel is gonna be on the nether roof. So let's build ourselves a nether portal. And the reason we're gonna travel on the nether roof is this horse is about 15 blocks per second in the overworld, which means in the nether, it travels at 120 blocks per second because one block in the overworld equals eight blocks in the nether. All right, let's go. We've got no time to waste because we've only got about 160 hours left of our bear. Also, I kind of didn't do any calculations before this, but I'm just gonna hope that we have enough time. Not I'm not gonna lie, my finger kind of hurts holding down this. I wonder if we can get like an auto clicker to do it. Let's go! I came up with a genius solution. Wow. I'm not holding the keyboard anymore and it's going straight forward towards the corner. Perfect. Now I guess we just wait and hope we're traveling fast enough. All right, so it's been two hours. Let's see just how far in the overworld we got. And reluctantly, that's when I realized that it would literally take over 600 hours using the horse method to get to every single corner of the world border. So I had no other choice to turn back. And on the way back, I realized we didn't even have a return method. So it would take literally over 1000 hours to do it this way. All right. So we now know we can't use horses. So the obvious answer is using elytras. But there are two massive problems with this method. The first is even with using shulker boxes and an ender chest, traveling 200 million blocks will still take way too many rockets. Hmm. And the second is, that we still don't have a way to get back home from the corners, bruh. But for now, let's focus on solving problem number one. Upon doing some research on the topic, I think I might have found a solution. We're gonna slow down time. You see, in one of SP737's videos, he made a machine that slowed down time enough that he could actually travel to the world border with less than one shulker of rockets. But he did this by making a massive nether perimeter for a zombie piglin farm. And building one of those would take hundreds of hours that we simply don't have. So it looks like we're gonna have to invent our own. Help, I'm stuck. <laughs> I'm stuck on the boats. No! Help! I'm literally stuck under boats. So my first idea was to use vines like SB did to stop entity cramming. And I was going to do this with zombies and a really OP mob farm. But it didn't go very well. Is it even making it laggy? Still 120 FPS. Wait, what? Oh, God. Uh, uh-oh. <laughs> what have I done? Yeah, it definitely needs a roof. Oh my god, what game is this? <laughs> yeah. So my second idea was this massive redstone thing, but to be honest, I didn't really know what I was doing. Um, what have I done? But my third idea seemed like it might actually work. Well, after about 24 hours of testing, that is. Yes, spam the boats. Oh yeah. Yes, it's actually working. The FPS is going down. So now we can actually build this in our hardcore world. This is the Boat Spammer 3000. I'll explain how it works later, but all you need to know is this is the reason traveling 200 million blocks might actually be possible. But to make it work, we've got a lot to do. And step one is getting thousands of boats, so let's head to the wood farm. All right, so we're gonna need about a shulker box of pure logs. And because this farm is so OP, that's probably gonna take about 10 minutes. Come on, wood. All right, 10 minutes has been. Oh my God, that's a lot of wood. And with the other side as well. Yes, that is a full shulker of wood. Okay, so now we can use all this wood and craft it all into boats. Then we'll fill up these chests with all the boats. Oh no, not the planks. No. All right, so that is all the boats. But before we turn this thing on and get traveling our 200 million blocks, it's time for step two, which is gathering the rockets and elytras we'll need. All right, so first we'll get the rockets and I think we have a bunch of them in here. So now with the rockets done, it's time for the elytras. So we'll just jump down here. Hello there. Very nice. And now we'll just fly away from the entire solar system. Oh, 
There's one right here. Elytra, Elytra, Elytra. Let's go. Elytra number one. Ooh, and diamonds. Ew. That is the most disgusting sword I've ever seen. Here we go. And Elytra number two. Yummy. Ooh, another one already. No, it's a tiny one. All right, we need to hurry up and get some more Elytras because otherwise we are going to lose our bet. Alright, and with this elytra repaired, we now have a full shulker of elytras. Alright, that's looking pretty good, but we can make it even better by buying some unbreaking three bucks. Great. So that's everything we're gonna need. But how are we gonna keep this machine running whilst we're in the nether dimension? Well, that's where step number three comes in, building a chunk loader. All right, so first we add a dispenser, build ourselves a nether portal, use our detector rails like this, then we light the portal. All right, now it should be easy. So we literally just do this and light this and this. And now we put this on here. And yes! Oh my god, it's loading the chunk. Perfect. Okay, it's time to turn on the machines. Our world is about to get very laggy. Okay, so it's spamming all the boats, which is going to slow down our game tips. Okay, let me just demonstrate how this works. So you see we're at Y level 81, and usually one of these rockets would take us up 80 blocks. So we'd get to about 160. But if I do it now that it's getting a bit laggier, you can see that it takes us much higher than 160. And it's literally only going to get more and more powerful. And after one rocket, we're at 650. Time is moving so slow right now. Yeah, even the sun's moving slower. Look at that. It just lags back into place. Oh no, it literally takes ages to eat food. Time is so slow. Okay, all the boats have now officially been dispensed. Now we need to get on top of the nether roof. So step number one for this is using our rockets to go straight up in the air, hundreds of thousands of blocks. And this is why having OP rockets was so important. There's 2,000 blocks. Hopefully we still have time to win the bet because we've only got a little over 100 hours left. These rockets are so OP. 10,000 blocks. Let's go. Now like 490,000 more blocks to go. This is going to take a long time. That's 55,000 blocks. And that's 100,000 blocks up in the air. And our elytra durability has barely even gone down. And that is a quarter of a million blocks up in the air. All right, we just passed 340,000 blocks in the air. And finally, our elytra has run out of durability. So we'll just swap that out. That elytra lasted like eight times longer than it was meant to. All right, here we go. 500,000 blocks in the air. Oh my God. So now we can actually begin our journey to the first corner. We want this value to be 25. Now the X is going up and the Z is going up at the exact same amount. So now all we need to do is keep swapping out these elytras. Oh, and it might be at this point that you're wondering how am I actually going to to get back. Well, I did build this enderpearl stasis chamber before I left, but the way I'm going to activate it is going to be really cool. But you'll have to wait until we get to the first corner to find out what it is. Let's go! 1 million diagonal blocks! Alright, it's now literally the next day and we're coming up on 2,750,000 diagonal blocks away. But we are just about to run out of height. Wait, where's the bedrock? Um... Oh! Nice. So we're now on to our seventh elytra. Oh yeah. Oh my God. Slowing down time is actually so OP. Okay. It's been about another five, six hours and we are now at the correct X and Z coordinate. All right. I definitely didn't just pop my totem. If my calculations are correct, this should bring us out straight on the first corner. Oh my God. It's still so lucky. Please work. Please don't crash my PC, please. Learning terrain. Oh my God. God, that is the corner of my world. I am literally standing in the very corner block of my world. <laughs> this took so long to get here. Whoa, this is insane. And now for our very first banner. We've done it. One out of the four corners. We've still got a lot of blocks to travel. But now comes the question, 
How am I going to get back? Well, like I said earlier, it's got something to do with that stasis chamber I built back at spawn. And you see, I'm in quite a unique situation because I live with my brother who's also a Minecraft YouTuber. And if I just press escape and click this open to land button and start land world, it turns my single player world into a private local server. And the perk of that is my brother gamers will be able to join. All right. Are you ready? Yes. I okay. Think. Join my hardcore world. Okay. I'm joining. All right. So you should be at spawn, right? Yes. Ready? I'm next to a portal. Okay. You see that big machine? It should have some boats in it. It's yeah. Like machine. Behind it, there should be a trap door. Oh, yeah. Ender Ooh, pill. Okay. Yeah. I see this. Whenever you're ready, do a countdown and click it. And I should be teleported all the way across from the corner of the map back to spawn. Okay. I really hope this works. Um, Is this a lot of pressure? <laughs> yeah, okay, I'm ready. Okay, you are. three, two, one, go. <laughs> oh my God, I'm back. All right, but now we've still got no time to waste because we still have that bet with gamers. All right, head up here. Where's our ladder at? And then we need to lag our way through here again. Yes! And now we use our OP rockets again to fly thousands and thousands of blocks up in the air. There's 1,000 blocks up. There's 10,000 blocks. And there is 100,000 blocks. And we are now about to run out of rockets at 750,000 blocks in the air. There we go. Now we need to line up with negative 135. Yes, there we go. Perfect. Okay, so we're going to X equals 30 million and Z equals minus 30 million this time. Yeah, I'll see you guys tomorrow. Okay, pretty much all of our elytras have run out, but the good news is we are here. Well, we're still 60,000 blocks up, so let's just head straight down. Nice. All right, it's portal time. And hopefully this should be corner number two. I wonder what biome it's going to be this time. Let me know your guesses for the biome in the comments down below. Here we go. What's it going to be? It is a Mesa biome. We must find the corner. Yes, the corner of the world. Oh my God. We have now been to two corners of my world. Speaking of which, it's time to place our banner. Oh yeah. Gamers, take it away. Let's go! I am successfully back from the second world border corner. Speaking of which, there's only two days left on the bet. Uh, who do you think is going to win? Uh, well, obviously me. Hmm, we'll see about that. Okay, so let's put our ender pill for the third corner. I've just realized we don't have enough elytras for this next journey. That is really not good. But I think I've got an idea to fix it. Because you see, in my previous I traveled loads of million blocks videos, we also had to collect a lot of elytras. So theoretically, we should have loads of them stored up in our storage room. Please let there be elytras in here. Please, 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 please. Yes, elytras. Oh my god, that is amazing. All right, and we are ready. You guys know the drill by now. This should be high enough. This time we're going to negative X and negative Z. So we need to get this lined up with 135. There we go. So I'll see you guys in about 30 hours when we reach the corner. All right, here we are, the third corner. What's it going to look like? Ooh, a lush cave biome. Oh, and the corner is right here. Yeah, we should probably put it on the surface, though. Oh, my God. This is going to take ages to mine up. Is there a faster way up? Oh, no. Oh, no. The rocket is really OP. I forgot. There's got to be a way up and out. Oh, yeah. And we can dig through this stone a lot faster. Here we go. Yes. The surface! Wait, the corner is literally an ocean biome. Wait, can you place stuff on the world border? No. I guess we can just put some obsidian here and then our banner. There we go. We have officially been to the third corner, which means there's only one corner left to do. Whenever you're ready, gamers. 
Hello there. So as of right now, we only have about 10 hours left of our bet. So I'm not sure how this is going to be possible, but let's give it a go. First, we'll throw our final ender pill. And now let's do this. All right, here we go. Up the staircase for the final time. And now ender pill through the bedrock. And of course, go straight up in the air for 700,000 blocks. Okay, I'm pretty sure this should be high enough. Now we need to line it up for the very last time. Now we are heading to the very last corner. Yeah, so during my 30 hour plus flight, I came to the realization that we had 100% lost our bet with gamers. But in doing so, we have nearly explored my entire Minecraft world by traveling over 300 million blocks. That is absolutely insane. And just as I was about to light the final portal, it was clear I couldn't have done any of this without my brother gamers. So gamers, congrats on winning the bet and you can now post whatever you want on my second channel. But now, let's finally complete this challenge all right here we are and let's go we've literally explored my entire world and seen every corner of the world border <laughs> that is insane all right gamers you can teleport me back now gamers no